have here? You know, I came here thinking of an idea. We're gonna have one hell of a day, but it's just... I couldn't shake the idea. You know, not really knowing what I had in mind. It was just that it was something awesome. You ever have that concept where you just want the day to be something, but you don't know exactly what? It doesn't really come together in my mind all the time. It's more like it sort of does than the rest of it. Well, gotta work on that. Maybe it's because I'm so busy. Lately, it's been non-stop working. I wish it was something I wanted to do. But lately, I don't have that choice. You know, sometimes... It's like being caught between a rock and a hard place, and you're the only place I get to really be myself anymore. It's kind of difficult if I'm being honest with you, but... At the same time, don't have any choice yet. Hopefully that makes a little sense. Otherwise, i just gonna seem like a babbling idiot. Oh, and you can feel free to stop me anytime. I'm not gonna complain. Just that I may need some help here and there. Well, you see, I may have gotten a little bit injured doing a certain... A certain situation. Heroism, it's not as rewarding to your body as it is to your wallet. So, you wanna go with me, get some juice or something, and watch the fireworks? You know, I've been thinking about it. People don't celebrate this everywhere, and that's just fine. But today can be special if we make it. Baby, you're like a firework to me. You light up my life. You make the whole sky burn bright. You make my days something worth fighting for. You're the only reason I can still keep this big dumb smile on my face, you know. It may not seem like much, but... You're my baby. I can't take you lightly. Partially because if I do, you'll take advantage of all my roguish good looks and my devilishly handsome attitude. Don't tell me you won't. You'll hurt my feelings now. You want to hurt my confidence as a man? I didn't think so. Hey, by the way, you're my darling, but I need to know something. What's been on your mind lately? You seem like you've been thinking about a whole fuzz worth of stuff. I'm not too sure if I can discern it with my, well, frankly not the best, understanding capacity of what's going on in there. Is that so? Well, don't worry about me too much. There's plenty of other things to worry about, like what's for dinner? Of course, I mean, let's pick something up. Just the two of us, and we'll make tonight something worth raving about. You know, I could just spend my days in self-pity and think about all the lives that I've made a mess of. At the same time, what's the point? Everyone has their crutch to bear. I just think mine just takes a little bit longer to really hit home. Honestly, for all it's worth, I love you, and that's all that really matters. Did you know that there's a lot of me that, well, a lot of me that just gets neglected? Not because I choose to or want to, just because I don't have enough time. Sometimes it seems like life is way too short. You help me get back down to earth. And I feel like I can do normal things again. Hopefully I give you some of that feeling too. It'd be awfully terrible of me if I didn't. 
After all, what's a little bit of romance without having a little fun? I think tonight we should see those fireworks. Enjoy them. It's not every day you get to. And honestly, I think I've got the day off tomorrow. So we can enjoy ourselves however we see fit. Now quick, it's getting dark soon. If we're not careful, we might miss the starting ceremony. Also, I hear there's a nice festival going on today. How about we go there and play some carnival games? I'll show you what this masterpiece of a man can do when it comes to, well, all those tricks of the trade. I'm no one-trick pony. I may not be an ace of all trades, but I'd like to say that I'm a master of a few things. One of them being your heart. Or am I wrong? I'd like to think that the two of us get along as right as rain. But at some point, I have to be honest with you. I'm not too sure that you really understand how good of a man you bagged. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you. Now, shall we be off, my dear? It'd be such a shame to waste the night getting ready in preparation. I understand looking your best, but don't take too long now. Or maybe I'll take just as long as you. Don't get too upset if I come out in a full face of makeup and still look dashing and amazing. No, what I'd really do is just take a nap in front of the door. So you don't need to worry about that. Just go ahead and get ready. Take your time if you need. I was only joking. I'm gonna go... Hmm. I'll do a bit of trimming and make sure that my beard isn't too aggressive. Wouldn't want to hurt you if we kiss. Oh, I did want to check that, you know, just... What? You can't be too careful when it comes down to kissing. It was just as I thought. Maybe I'll need to do some shaving. Look like a proper roguish man for you. I know you're captivated by me. You don't need to be shy. After all, I like the praise. Go ahead. Tell me just how it is. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess what I would say to you is that you look like a fine little thing. What? I'm not one for words, but... I'd say you're breathtaking. Actually, that's not the right word. No, no, no. Stunning. Even without any of that dolling up, you look just fine. You know, a lot of people like makeup so much, but I think you don't need it. A million people think that they do. Honestly, I could use it myself and look like I'm probably a few years younger, but that doesn't make me, you know as unapologetically roguish. At that point, I'm losing out. Why would I want that? Do I really want to put a shade of something over my great beauty? Hell no. I don't need the help of any beauty products. The only thing I take care of on the regular is definitely my luscious hair. My skin doesn't really need it. Oh, I wash my face every day, if that counts. But sure. I'll be waiting outside the door. Don't worry. I won't leave you behind unless you take too long. What? I'm just joking. You don't need to take me so literally. Though I guess I'm honored that I have so much of an effect on you. Well, take it however you want. There was another thing I wanted to know. What is it your favorite part about going out with me in these places? You know, I was just thinking, and I've got the looks, I've got the attitude, and I've got the personality for it. I'm good at small talk. I, I guess there's so many things to like, I just want to know what you like the best. Well, I suppose that works, too. Uh, 
Well, it kind of feels like you're complimenting an insult right there, so, uh... You know what? It's fine. Don't even worry about it. I'll, I'll, uh... I'll find something to, uh... Occupy myself just to come out soon. Your roasting isn't gonna get me down. I, I'm not so vulnerable, honey. In fact, I think I could take you on and any insult you can come up with. Oh, really? Challenge accepted, then. Bring it on. You think you can make me get flustered? <laughs> Who do you think you're dealing with? I'm practically the king of teasing, and I could never be teased. Besides, that's all beside the point. I have a bone to pick with you. You see, I've... been seeing... a lot of couples lately that have made me jealous. Not that you're inadequate, you're ten times a match for any of them, but... mostly because we're power couple and you're irresistible, but that's beside the point. I've been seeing them go places. But honestly, I've been a little bit distant. Mostly because of what I've had to do, what's necessary. And honestly, I feel bad about it. There's a lot of... Well, it's not quite regret, but I want to make you happier than I have been. So why don't we change that, and make it something a little better than, you know, sitting around all day and maybe the occasional cuddle session. Instead, today we're gonna see the town. Doesn't matter where we go. You name it, we'll paint the town, uh, yellow like a sleeping bag. That was only a joke, don't worry about it. <laughs> Besides... I don't have time to sleep anymore with you around. Instead, we got big plans to take care of. I figure what's the best place to start? At the top, of course, work your way down. Some would say bottom to the top, but that's too hypothetical. I like to just go to the top, and that's why I got us two reservations at the restaurant that's at the top. The saucer. I know, it's expensive, but it's all within my means. Well, I should say our means. We're not together in that way yet, but you know what? We're working towards that goal. Who knows? You might succeed where others failed. Not to put down the debt or anything. But I just... I feel you're special. You've made my life so different, and it's so vibrant now. I feel like I'm way, way more full of life than when I first met you. Yeah, so I might have been a bickering old man, but I wasn't that old, so don't worry about that part. Isn't it about being young at heart anyways? Oh well. To think my student's grown this much. No, I didn't mean it in any pervy sage kind of way. I was just talking about it in the best. You've matured as a person, and I've got to see you through it all. It made me a little more confident in myself, too, that someone as, well, as alluring as you has interest in someone like me. Well, I know, I've got the roguish good looks and a personality that can match ten people of my size. Well... Probably more than that. You could search all the world and not find someone with half the class as me, baby. We're gonna make tonight one worth remembering. Now that's enough talking it up. I don't need to. <laughs> Actions speak louder, right? Well, then maybe I'll have a little action of my own. Yeah, so what? I pulled you close. You gonna complain? I've got you at the hip, and that's not saying that I... Need anything more than a hug right now, but you look like you want something. Those lips look mighty fine. Don't mind if I do. What, did 
do you expect me to start making out with you right here? No. That's not my purpose. A true gentleman doesn't leave things like that. If you're going to make someone feel loved, if you're gonna spend the day with them, it better be more fun than that. You can have a make-out session anywhere, but that's not gonna change the world, no. And who said anything about changing the world? I went a little too high scale there. I don't think we need that. You and I, we just gotta change ourselves to be happier. That's why I want to stop being jealous of those other couples and just go for it. And it's not that hard if you think about it. As long as you just keep your eyes forward and figure out where we're going and don't run into any strangers. Well, it'd be a shame if I have to kick someone's ass. Though I bet you'd like the display. Wouldn't I look cool doing it? I'm sure you've been a big fan for a while. Well, the racer head's got it going. Got the muscles. Got this beard. You name it. <laughs> hey, that tickles. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Two can play at that game. I'll attack you with my scruffies. <laughs> You can dish it out, but you can't take it. I see how it is. Oh, yeah? Well, I got more. You better watch yourself, or I'm gonna tickle you. <laughs> you think I didn't know you were ticklish? I found out the easy way. You know I can tickle you when you're asleep, and you don't even know it. Hey, don't look at me like that. No, I'm not that type of person. I just had a little fun. Found out you were ticklish. You laughed in your sleep. What's there to tell? Now, on the way to the restaurant, we still got two hours. And little old me thought it would be a good idea to go take a walk and... Well, there was a guilty pleasure in there. Want to go to the petting zoo? Yeah, I know. Big, tough guy like me. Liking to pet animals? Woe is me. <laughs> you think that I can't like cute things? Then you're dead wrong. Before that, let's go to the juice bar. Get some nice pomegranate juice. Well, I guess I like pineapple, too, and blueberry. Maybe even strawberry and apple. Eh, it depends. What's your favorite juice? <laughs> You're such a kid about it. What? What do you expect me to say? I mean, it's a respectable choice to, <laughs> to some people. Uh, it's, it's not you. It's just the choice. Don't worry about it, babe. Come on. We'll go get you some. Oh, on the way is always nice. Look at those places. Someday we'll live in something like that. What do you say? Save up from all this work and maybe we can. A mini mansion? Maybe one on the beach? I'd like to see you on the beach, babe. Honestly, as much as I say things like that, it's just seeing you smile that makes me feel at home. A lot of times people want to talk about all the you know, bells and whistles on someone, but that's not what matters. It's always hard. You can have someone who looks as good as a firecracker, but that doesn't change the fact that if they're one inside, they're just going to blow up. It's not going to end up very well. And I know with you, it's not like that. I know you're not that kind of person. Instead, that you're more... You think about things. You choose with your heart. And while it gets you in trouble, that's, that's some of the fun of it, isn't it? When you choose with your heart instead of your mind, I guess I've had phases of doing both. A lot of the times, it's just like... You can't really make a choice with just one... 
Uh, I learned that the hard way. Sometimes there's things we have to do. We just gotta do it. Before we can make those feelings in our heart all the way. Yeah, it may seem like I'm just rambling, but that's just because it's hard to put into words. I have a lot of mixed feelings when it comes to how to handle myself, most of all. It always seems to make me a hypocrite because I seem to give advice to everyone but myself. I don't take the advice either. But you still love me, don't you? God, I sure hope so. What would I do without you? I think without you, it would take the wind right out of my sails and... Well, who would I eat dinner with? Who would I show off this cool scarf to? Maybe wrap up when you get cold? I'm sure that there's a lot of ways I could make things worthwhile. I just wonder if I'm overcompensating for it. For the fact that I, I'm a little bit afraid of losing you. If I'm being completely honest. As much as I tease you, it's... It's only because... I guess it's my personality. Sometimes I tease and other times I don't know how to. And it's the times that I don't know how to that I worry about. It just makes me think that I'm getting boring. Like you're gonna find someone cooler. And... It, yeah, I understand that. Just sometimes understanding and getting your heart to feel it are two different things, and it still seems surreal to me. That someone so fantastically beautiful and breathtaking actually considers me their equal, their love, and it's not one kind of feeling, it's, it's a whole bunch of them, and while I'm probably no good at saying it all at once, it just jumbles out into a big mess, I, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you for sticking with me, even though all my faults and stuff and everything that I need to do right now. To know that you side with me, even though I might be blurring the line between what's right and wrong. It still makes me feel, so I'm lucky to have you. And sarcasm be damned, but I love you. Love me too, do you? Well, I guess the me of five seconds ago would have said, Wow. Never loses its touch. But the me of right now thinks I should tease you about it a little. So why don't you tell me what you love about me? I might just tell you what I love about you. That beautiful smile. Your hair's not bad either. Not to mention, the way you laugh. What, am I making you too embarrassed? Don't be. Well, I actually do. It makes me feel like I won something. <laughs> what, getting too cocky for you? Nah. There's no such thing. As long as you got something to back it. And you know I'm good, right? By the way... What? You look dazed, so I gave you a kiss. Got a problem with it? Didn't think so. <laughs> oh, also... Oh, it was too late for you to complain, so I, I figured... It just suited you. That look of surprise, I, I want to see it again. You can't blame me for that. Because it's too late. No take-backs. Pouting on me. That's not a very good tactic. Leaves you vulnerable for tickles. No, I wasn't gonna do it. Come on, what do you take me for? Some kind of torturous savage? No. I'll save that for when you deserve to be tickled. For now, I'm in a happy mood, so... Here's hoping you are too. 
Really? Well, that's not what I expected, but I think it's good all the same. By the way, for how long are we going to stand outside of this juice bar? Let's go get some. Oh, careful. Watch your step. And let's get some juice. So I'd suggest, you know, if you want to get that juice, I'll order it for you. Better me than you, because I wouldn't want them thinking you're, you know, that you're, you know, like a, a non-juice connoisseur. It's no offense, it's just your favorite type of juice and all. Am I insulting you? No, it's just for your own good, you know? I'm looking out for you. Isn't that what couples do? <laughs> yeah, you caught me. I was just teasing. Just go ahead and order. Hey, barkeep. Another round. What? It sounds cooler that way. I know we just got here, but... Saying another round, it, you know, it sounds like those cool movie people. Like they own the place. I mean, I'm kind of familiar with the place, but I wouldn't say I owned it. Good enough for me, though. Being here with such a cutie. <laughs> Aren't you honored? You're like with the Juice MVP. That's gotta say something. I think we should get it to go, though, because we got a lot of places to cover. And looks like it's done. This one for you, and this one for me. That's pretty good. How about yours? <laughs> what, didn't expect me to steal some? You can steal some of mine. Hey, don't get too fussy over an indirect kiss. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of kissing going on if you drop your guard. So I'd say you better watch yourself. Again with the pout. You know what? I don't mind that. It's fun enough teasing you and getting a reaction just makes me want to do it more. Something tells me you like it, though. Come on. Otherwise, you wouldn't be putting up with all my bullcrap. Though something tells me you would, because you enjoy my company. Isn't that right? Oh, come on. Don't hide your face like that. I can see you down there. What? I'm not calling you too short now. Just shorter than me. Hope you don't mind. Of course you don't. Because what would you do if you were taller than me? Hmm. I might have to tease you for that, too. Though I guess it's possible you might have a growth spurt and be slightly less of a shrimp. But, you know, I guess I have a thing for... You staying just the way you are. Not saying you'd look bad if you decide to get a little bit taller, but you don't need to. Honestly, I'm a simple man. I love you, and that's that. I don't really think of the details. It doesn't matter. If you put stipulations on everything, it's just going to make you miserable. I just figure life's too short for that. Way too short. I spend a lot of mine wasting it. A lot of mine in doing things I didn't really believe in half-heartedly. <sighs> but this juice sure helps cheer me up, just like your smile. Oh, too slow. I got some of yours. What are you going to do about it? You're going to get even, are you? Well, I guess we'll see about that. <laughs> you call that getting even? That wasn't even a punch. You can do better than that. Well, I could outmuscle you with my pinky finger if that's the best you got. No, of course not. I'm not saying you're weak. You're just not as strong or as dashing as me. See, I've got the looks, I've got the smarts, 
You've got the charm, but I do too. No, no, don't be too hard on yourself. Because honestly, you're perfect for me. You sober me up out of anything that would be me going crazy or too far. You make me aware of it, and therefore I don't need to worry so much about making... Well, big mistakes or small ones. After all, you're down there. You can look up to me and... <laughs> oh, Too far, I guess, eh? That punch had some kick to it. Or maybe it was just a kick. Did you just kick me in the back of the head? Doesn't surprise me. But... Guess I deserved it, didn't I? Good thing we're at the next destination. I hope you've got something for that petting zoo, or else... Well... Well, what would we be here for? I think, uh, maybe it's an overdone thing, but... I don't mind if it's generic right now. I want what those other couples have. I want us to have it. Maybe it's wrong of me to be jealous, but damn it, it just isn't the same. I'm always at work and you're always waiting for me, and I want it to be a special day. But every time we want to do something, we can. We don't need anyone's permission or anything else. Instead, we just make it together. We just have all those wonderful times. Nobody can really stop us except for us, right? That's what I think. No, that's what I know. I happen to know that the cutie right beside me is cuter than all these cute little animals. Though I don't know who's fluffier. Hmm, guess you'll have to try a little harder. This bunny might have you. Well, let's see what his name is. Westworth. Say, how much for the bun? No, not for sale, eh? Hmm. Guess there's no helping it. You can't exactly take care of a bunny right now. Maybe later, once they go on sale. Who knows? I think he likes it up in my... Up in my hair. Go figure. Yeah. Enough of that before he uh, gets a little too comfortable in my hair. I'm not one for that kind of thing. Why are you laughing at me? Something funny? Well, I'm glad that I made your highness laugh. Now, if you'd politely get off your throne, you might be able to pet that baby goat over there. Aw, oh, look at that little fella. This place is like heaven on earth. I've got you, I've got all the comfy animals I can pet, and I've got all the time in the world to tell you. You know what? You might just be softer than that bunny. <laughs> we'll see about that. Why are you having a competition with a bunny in the first place? Or is that just how you do things? I won't judge you, it's just the others watching it. You might judge you just a bit. <laughs> Ready to leave so soon? Well, you might as well finish off everything else while we're at it. What? Don't be mad at me. I just pointed out that there was a crowd for me. Well, it's probably my fault, you know. I'm quite famous. I tend to draw attention and... Well, it's... You're, you're famous too. It's just... Uh, maybe not as much or as roguishly handsome as me. But isn't that a good thing? That way... I'll take all of those eyes off you if it puts anxiety onto you. Besides, I think you're even more dashing than me. I just keep my confidence levels high because 
If I didn't do that, you might get bored. Just like I was saying earlier. Yes, yes, I understand you wouldn't, but... That's not gonna change how I feel, cause I get anxious. When it comes to you, I, I told you, I'm a bit of a hypocrite. I want you all to myself, but I also... May lack just a bit of confidence, but you'll never see it, got it? You'll never see any of it. Instead, I'll show you all my coolest sides until I feel comfortable with the rest. Got it? Besides, we don't have time for that. We've got a date with dinner. Well, a date to share dinner at least. Would you like to take my hand? We can get you some new clothes while we're at it if you want. Not that what you're wearing is less than adequate, mind you. I just thought you might like the opportunity to go shopping with me. Besides, it's an excuse. I want more time with you. Okay. Ah, here we are. My favorite boutique. There's been a few things I want to say. For a long time coming. First of all, this would look great on you. Second of all... Here. Let's all bring these in the dressing room. No, don't sweat the small stuff. I'm just here for moral support. Now, I've been seeing that look in your eye this whole time. I, I've just been waiting to help you. Make you feel at home. And make you feel loved. And maybe I'm a little too aggressive, but... No, no, no. Can't have you doing that. Look, I just want a moment, a quiet moment with you. I always told you you had potential, just the way you are now. It wakens a fire in my soul that I can't seem to get past. It makes me love you even more. I'm sorry if I get out of control sometimes. Everyone has their limits, and I... Well, I'm no different. Honestly, I just... I love you. And all the fancy stuff and teasing... That doesn't change a damn thing. It just makes me love you more. Does it surprise you, cutie? I sure hope not. Otherwise, I'd hate to see your face once we get to the restaurant. It is the best restaurant in this entire god-awful city, you know. And that's saying something, considering the food is quite good. Let alone all the rest of the stuff. Oof. With you and I? Look at that. I personally think I'll be the belle of the dance this time. Yeah, that's right, I'm competing with you. You think you can beat me at my own game? My good looks are all I have. Well, sometimes. Don't worry about the details, darling. That's not what we're here for. We're here to make magic happen. And I won't take no for an answer. Because honestly, a night without you is a night I won't remember. The night's with you. That's one for a lifetime. Look at you. In that outfit, I knew it would look good on you. What can I say? I guess I'm talented at fashion, too, while I'm at it. Oh, don't feel bad. It's perfect for you. You have that innocent feel to you, but you also have that... Well, what's the word? Please tease me vibe as well. What? I'm just being honest. Anywho, let's go. Would you like to hold my hand? Hey, shopkeep, put it on the tab. That's right, we got a place to go. A town to see from the stars. 
Well, we might as well be stars, so don't worry about it. Off we go. In style, too. <laughs> Let's get going. We're almost there. Look at that. The elevator's right in front of us, and yet... It doesn't seem like it's gonna go up 210 floors, does it? But still, a saucer? It then goes up another hundred. Up its spire, spinning. It's such a beautiful and slow spin. It's perfect for everything that we're looking to do. The food is exquisite. I hear it's a blend of many different cuisines and whatever is in the residence menu. Uh, is sort of like a, a guest chef every time, so you never get the same experience two nights in a row. Seems kind of too much work for me, but what do I know? I'm not really the poshest of beings, but, you know, I have my moments. Here we are. Reservations for Izawa, and, of course, his lovely date. Yes, that's us. Thank you. Oh, pull up your seat for you, and bam, you're ready to go. Why don't you take a look at that menu and tell me how good it is? Come on. Mm. Wow, those house specials sound amazing. Want to get them? <laughs> Why don't we just get one of everything off the menu? I guess this place doesn't work that way. It's more like selecting which course meals you get and what. Kind of an odd thing to think of, but still worth every penny. You think I'd regret a date with you? It doesn't matter if it bankrupts me. It's worth it just to see you smile. No, no. Don't get too full of yourself now. Otherwise, I'll get too shy about taking you out too much. You wouldn't want to make me shy, would you? Come on, and lose all this roguish teasing you love? Yeah. I guess I'm going to get the filet with the beef wellington, of course. Let's always get some, what is it? Oh, what's that thing I like so much? Oh, that's right. It's the stuffed duck, and of course, we'll go with an appetizer of the prawns. What would you like, my darling? Mm. Sounds almost as delicious as you. Ho oh, ho! You competing with my order? Fine, sounds good. Not bad. Guess we'll see who gets the last laugh. Hope you don't intend on eating all of it. I sure as hell don't. It's all about enjoying it. And honestly, in your company, I couldn't possibly not. You know all those times that we've spent together? I always come rushing back, but not to be like a sentimental old man. I just wanted to say thank you. Maybe it seems a little plain and simple, but a lot of people wouldn't have stuck around with all of this stuff. It would have been out before you can say goodbye. And that means... Well, a very sad me. But luckily, you're not like them. You're not trying to jump ship, and you're not trying to use me for... whatever clout I might have, so... That puts you a cut above all the rest. And that's a lot. A big cut at that. I just... I want you to be happy. And if I can do it, I will. You have my promise and my word. I know they're kind of like the same thing, but don't don't ruin my cool moment. The thing is that well, anyways. I'm going to protect you and our future too. Everything we can. I will do absolutely everything. No matter who I have to face, no matter if it's friend or foe, I will strive to make you smile. Hey, 
These aren't just some two-bit words, either. You know everyone's so quick to say these, but I know what it's like to follow them. I know what it's like to sacrifice for someone you love. And for you, that would be nothing. Nothing at all. Not even hard. You want hard? It'd be easy to summarize that in two words. Saying goodbye. So as long as you don't plan to leave me, then you don't have anything to worry about, darling. You're in my capable hands, and whose hands could do it better than me? <laughs> well, looks like the food's here. Now, let's see who really went. 